Today, we're looking at two different pry bars, trim bars from Stiletto. They're made of titanium, and I'm gonna show you why you wanna carry one of these in your tool belt or your toolbox. So let's get started. So here's my old trim bar right here. It started to rust a little bit, I painted it. It's quite heavy, it's made of steel. And this is what I'm upgrading it with, the stiletto right here. This is very similar. You can see these two next to each other, but the weight of this is significantly more. Let me ask my phone something, hang on. Hey Siri, is titanium stronger than steel? Titanium is stronger and lighter than steel. Although lightweight, titanium is stronger than steel with more than 30 different grades. It is okay, <laughs> thank you. So what we're gonna do is stir out, taking a look at this trim bar right here. You can see that special side right there, that nail puller. I'm gonna show you a demonstration on the short stud wall, why I like this right here. All right, we're gonna hammer down this two by a little bit. I tested a framing nailer on top of here, so we're gonna put a fresh two by on top so I can demonstrate some things. So this is the new Tybone 15 framing hammer right here. If you haven't checked it out, it's brand new and it has replaceable grips. I do have a video link to this if you're interested in it down below. The video just went live a little over a month ago. When you get into the hammers, it has up to 10 times less recoil shock over steel. So now I'm gonna show you with this pry bar where this right here, this nail puller comes in handy. All right, check this out. You can see that nail right there is completely sunk in. So there's a couple different ways with a pry bar, like this one right here, your common one, that you can get that nail out. So you could do this number right here. You could hit the back side of this to dig it out, like this right here, watch. Then you have to pry it. And you can see how I tore that up pretty bad. So the head of a 16 penny nail is a little bit smaller than this right here. So you can just see what we're gonna do. Put it right over the top and hammer a few times. And if you can check this out, it just makes a little dimple all the way around it. I have to get this couple wax right here to get underneath it a little bit. Pull down, see the nail it's pulling up nice and neat. So then you can just go ahead and pull on this. And the cool thing is, if let's say that's really embedded in there, you can use the hole right here. You can put that through right there and then check this out. With one arm, working smarter, not harder. So you can see if you're trying to keep it neat, that's much better right there. All right, so take one last look. There's the first one right there. Here's the second one. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I have a little more information to tell you on the 11 and a half inch claw bar right here. So let's get the weight on it, according to my scale. Okay, I have it zeroed out and it's 8.1 ounces. Now let's take a look at the steel one. So this one, I think it's slightly different in length. So this is 11 inches long. It's not even as long, 12.3. So yes, you really notice the difference with these two right here. And yes, it's definitely a little more of an investment going with the titanium, but I'll tell you what, when you have all these tools in your tool belt, every ounce counts. And in your hand right here, this just fits better. I just like the size of it. And I like that little dimpler right there. It just works really well. So one of the things that happens with the steel claw bars is after time, after you're hitting it right there with your steel hammer, it's gonna start to mushroom on the other ones, where this right here is gonna last three times longer. I'd say it's definitely worth it. This really is the go-to. So this is going to definitely live in my tool belt. So if you're interested in finding out more about this right here, I do have a link down below to the Home Depot. There you can check the ratings, the reviews, and the current price. And now let's go on to this one right here. So you can see between the two, this one's a little bit shorter. This is the nine and a half inch titanium trim bar. So one of the biggest differences right here, it has that wide tip. It's a Japanese style nail puller. So I'll show you in just a minute where I brought this to a job site and remove some bookcases with it. This is great for taking the trim work off. And when you're doing framing, I showed you the hammer that works well with this. So if you're doing trim work and you wanna stay in the stiletto family of titanium hammers, 
This is their very latest one, the trim bone right here. This is made for some of those smaller details, trim work, and you see how that's flat on top. That helps you get into tighter spaces up against trim, and it's just lighter in design, and this one has a custom grip. I have a few different color grips on some of the different stiletto hammers. That just helps me know really quick which one to grab, which one it is. Let's get a weight on this first. 6.2 ounces, so that my scale is exact what the stiletto website says. So what I like about this one right here, it just has the two different ends, so it really depends on what you need to do, what type of task you have, and the different amounts of prying that's required, the different spaces that you're getting into. This is just a nice universal tool right here. So just another one, if I'm going in doing trim work, I like to have this on my tool belt as well. So I like this kind of gradual curve that's right there. So let's say you're trying to set some windows, you need to raise it up a little bit or something, kind of square it up. You can get this it's pretty thin into some tight spaces just to lift up a little bit. Really a great tool. So if I lost this, I would go out and get another one right away. Definitely like this. So I'm using the Stutto trim bar to take these bookcases out. So there's this piece of trim right there that needs to come off first. So here's the Stutto trim bar. You can just see how I can get in behind the trim between that and the bookcase and just start prying it a little bit just to get it started, kind of going up and down. See that first nail, the couple nails popped out and then just keep working real quick. And that trim bar just really does a great job. Here's some other bookcases in another room. These two are joined together. So I have to take this piece of trim off right there in the middle. You can just see in just real brief few moments, I can pop that trim off and then go about my way getting the rest of the bookcases removed from there. And I have the other end right there, you can just see of the trim bar, I can use that for additional leverage. All right, so now I'd like to know what you think about these two different pry bars right here. Have you tried a titanium one? If so, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, some I may have left out, let me know about that as well too. If you're not too familiar with Stiletto Tools and want to see a few more videos on it, I do have a short playlist right here that you can check out. And then if you also want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so right there because I got a lot more videos coming out soon. That's it for now, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.